Uh, is this the right day? Yeah, I guess it is. That's friggin' weird to think about. It's the third, and that's the correct day. It, Cause, like, I think we were doing even numbers last month, weren't we? And now we're on to odd numbers, cause... Oh, suffering isn't the word I'd use for Roboblast 2. I remember loving that. And that was before Slopes got added, though I haven't played it since. Ugh. Neither here nor there. Alright, I need to get this official introduction. Oh, that's fair. Underway. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome to the April 3rd, 2021 episode of Strawberry Slime Streams. I'm your host, Strawberry Slime, aka Mocha. Uh, today, we're going to be doing something a little bit unorthodox. I felt like playing World of Warcraft, but... I already have so many characters on regular WoW that I decided instead I'm going to go a little bit out of my comfort zone and do a throwback and play WoW Classic, which I never thought I would say, to be completely honest. <laughs> but here we are. So a little disclaimer, I've not played Classic WoW in a long, long while. There's been private servers up for a good, like, six, seven years by now easily, but I haven't actually touched, like, the classic mechanics, the classic systems, etc. since, uh, let me just ballpark it, 2007. Like, right before Wrath of the Lich King launched is when I started playing WoW. I, I've been in this MMO for a while, off and on. Uh, they changed the game so much that classic is nothing like what the modern style is. To, to put it bluntly, like to put it in perspective, in the modern style you're kind of expected to be able to burn down groups of enemies at once. In classic, if you had more than two enemies on you and you weren't a tank, you were probably dead. So I need to reiterate, never actually booted this up before, never tried this, don't know what I'm getting into, but I figure, why not, right? Why not give it a shot on stream? See if it's as bad as I remember it being. So I'm going to need to tinker with some settings when we get in. Probably volume for one thing, so brace your ears. Uh, let's see. Is it picking it up? It doesn't look like it is. No, game capture's not working. Uh, let's see here. Because that says WoW Classic. That should be WoW Classic. Hmm. Uh, none of these server names look familiar to me, needless to say. That's not WoW Classic, is it? It's not picking it up. Probably because I don't have it in windowed mode yet. Hold on a minute. Hold on, hold on. I need to set it to windowed. Uh, 1920 by 1080. Apply that. Okay. See if it picks it up right at this point. Um... Does not appear to be picking it up. That's not spectacular. What about game capture? If by some miracle game capture would pick it up. Okay, game capture's picking it up, so that's good. Uh, we've got everything about as it should be for classic. <laughs> really low quality on the environment detailing there. Uh, let me just change sound a little bit. Set that to maybe 50% or so. And then music, I'm actually going to turn off. Because this one is a viewer-selected music stream. So, you remember the rules for that. Anything goes as long as it's not like too copyright infringy. I don't want to get in trouble. Game capture, you gonna there we go. Uh but if you could think of any music to play for the stream, I'm taking requests anytime you want. Uh let's turn that on. You need to actually request it. So if you can oh there we go. There's a good one. Now, I need to stress again, I don't know how well uh, Media Share is going to work, like how nicely it's going to play. I should hope very nicely, but it's been funky before. Let's see. Uh, 
Why not? Old Blanche. I remember Old Blanche. That's a horse. Okay, so we need to make a character, first things first. We've got eight fantastic races to choose from. We have human, short human, shorter human, weird ear human. And then on the horde side, we have orc, dead human, cow, and troll human. Hello, welcome to the stream. Uh, Okay, so when I first played World of Warcraft, it was on like the seven day free trial they had. And, uh, put it bluntly, I played an undead and it is weird that it's not letting you request music right now, Roxy. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, the first character I ever played was an undead. I could probably try and remake him. Wow, this is abysmal compared to modern, wow. Oh, what hair did I even use? Oh, that's good. We can just get the jaw completely removed if we want. Let's go with that. Hair color. Something in a nice greasy green black. Perfect. Hair style. Uh, he, he don't have style. Uh, I should probably set a poll or something, but I don't really feel like it. So just in the chat, shout out Alliance or Horde. Also, I'm not going to be digging too deeply into the story of this. I'm not going to stick around and read all the quest dialogue. This is meant to be more a chill stream than anything, so... I, I should stress, though, reading quest dialogue in early WoW was essential, so I'm going to be reading as much as I need to to figure out where I need to go. Horde races are generally more fun and more monstrous looking. If I change face on this guy, it doesn't look like it does anything here. Okay. Um... My first character, like my first actual one that I've been playing since forever was uh, an Alliance human, but my trial character was an undead, so. Did we skip over the previous? Yeah, we skipped over the previous thing. That's great. Oh, well. Undead or human, what are we thinking? Or do we want to go with night elf? Cause night elves can be druids. Ah, probably not going to get to where I want to be with a druid in a day, so maybe, maybe not that. We have an undead customized. Let me let me fiddle with a human real quick. It's really good music, yeah. Uh, let's see, no facial hair if we can get rid of that. We can. It seems like it might have skipped over a couple of songs, yeah. Ponytail, maybe. Yeah, ponytail, why not? Hair color. Uh, I guess this one is what I used to go with. And then the face was what? Uh, let's just go with that, why not? So we could have this one, or we could have this one. What are we thinking? There's no reason why I couldn't fiddle with another race entirely, but I just kind of... Originally, I was thinking one of these two. Option, actually, let's just take a quick look at. Wow, the old Torn really didn't look great, huh? Ooh. Oh well.
All right, so at this point we've got a Torin Druid, or we could play an Undead Warrior, or we could play a Human Warrior. It is the Year of the Ox. All right. Uh, since I'm not taking this too seriously, what name do I want to go with here? Hmm. Trees, cow, ox, beef, burger. <laughs> I'm hungry. Chad, I'm hungry. You made me hungry. Why would you do that to me? Oh, wow. Oxhorn. That's an old name. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> uh, what's... Usually this is the longest part of character creation for me, is trying to think of a name. So I'm trying to make it not take too long. I'm not exactly doing roleplay stuff here, so I'm trying to... Bow isn't going to happen. Bow is not going to happen. I mean, I guess I could just do Stromany Slime, right? No, I can't. <laughs> Straw Bunny. Yeah! All right. Don't like that that shop button is there. But let's get into trying a druid in classic wow i yeah it was really ominous i've never played classic druid so this should be fun they're gonna have like a whole introductory once a nomadic people the tauren roamed the endless plains of the barrens hunting the mighty kodal scattered across the land the wandering tribes were united only by their common hatred for their sworn enemy the marauding centaur Seeking aid against the centaur, the great chieftain Cairn Bloodhoof befriended the savage orcs who had recently journeyed to Kalimdor. With the orcs' help, Cairn and his tribe were able to drive back the centaur and claim the grasslands of Mulgore for their own. Upon the windswept mesa of Thunder Bluff, Cairn built a refuge for his people. Over time, the scattered tribes united under a single banner. Though the noble Tauren are peaceful in nature, the rites of the Great Hunt are venerated as the heart of their spiritual culture. As a tribesman of Mulgor, you must test your skills in the wild and prove yourself in the Great Hunt. Well, it's good to know we're not the only one with a weird name here. We've got one catch a beaten off to our left, so that's fun. <laughs> Alright, welcome to World of Warcraft. I know the drill. I know how to move game. Oh, I should definitely change my keybinds real quick. Hold on. Strafe and turn should be the other way around. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the whole game. There we go. Got some more music coming in, so let's pop that on. Turn some sounds down a bit more. Movement, movement, quest givers targeting. I know how all this works. What brings you? Okay. Here? The hunt begins. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. Prove yourself to Chief Hawkwind. Hunt nearby plane striders. Seven pieces of plane strider meat and seven plane strider feathers. Okay, can do. What abilities do we have right now? We're really good at herbalism, apparently. Oh, I should set up my action bars. I almost forgot about that. Interface options, action bars. Bottom left, bottom right, there we go. Let's 
So now... Stuns up to five enemies for two seconds. That's nothing. Wow. That's really nothing. Alright. And what do you have for us, Chief Hawkwind? We're set out to fetch water from the well to the north southeast of Narash. Near the water well to the southeast. Okay. I notice I don't have any tracking system. Normally, that's positioned, like, right here on the modern WoW UI, so that's a little bit weird to not have that. Oh, well. I'll get used to it. Probably. And if not, this is not going to be a long-term thing. This is a one-time. I do need plain strider meat, so let's see. That's my... Me not melee. Ranged damage. I'm out of mana already? I... This is before auto loot was implemented. Oh no, okay, there is still auto loot. Let's grab that then. I don't think I need to keep any of these on. I'm gonna regret that in like half an hour, mark my words. This is so weird. Because it's not even that different from modern WoW. It's just less convenient in spots. Which, to be fair, is about what I expected. Why did it resist, like, all my frigging... Oh my gosh, that's right. I have to level my skills in using weapons. This game is wacky. Experience is for levels, not to be confused with leveling my skills. That better be the right song. Looks like it is. <laughs> leveling up is becoming more skillful, yes, but it's not becoming more skillful in the ways that matter. It just means I'm able to equip stronger stuff, basically. I'm liking this music so far. And we finally made it to level uh, two. Yeah. So now we've got all the meat and feathers we need. I may as well go turn those in. This is so freaking weird. Playing this after playing, like, contemporary WoW, modern WoW, is so weird. I, there's really no better word for it, or if there is, I don't seem to be able to use it. Alright, I've got the meat, I've got the feathers. And you're letting me choose a belt, so I'm going to take the belt. Uncanny's a good word. I don't have gloves yet. I don't have gloves yet, I don't have pants yet. No, I did have pants. Um... Okay, the pants I just equipped are better. And now I have a cloak, too, so... 
That's nice. It's all gray, though. <laughs> That's fun. All my armor is, like, gray quality stuff. Except for my belt and my staff. Okay, so let's see. Sent by a druid tamer. Read this note and speak to Gart in Camp Narash. Gart is right over here. I'm obviously, like I said earlier, I'm not going to bother reading very much. Verdant note. Ancestor spirits have become restless throughout Mulgore. Cannot tell you why. Okay. Do not expect much welcome from the Night Elves. Of course not. We shall meet again. What do you have for me? Oh, nothing I can actually learn yet because I don't have any money. Let me... There's got to be someone I can sell to around here, right? Surely. That's a trainer. That's a trainer. So, not those. There we go. General goods vendor. Please tell me these sell for any amount of... Yeah, okay. One copper. Oh, that's not bad. Can't do anything with those aside from sell them. This latency is remarkable. Right. So now I can learn Mark of the Wild. May the eternal sun shine upon you. Mark of the Wild increases friendly targets armor by 25 for 30 minutes. So that's going to be good for me. Hail. Okay, a torn skill in the ways of the Hun knows prey is not from your trophy. The beasts of the plains provide us with a means of survival. Mountain cougar pelts lurking in the hills to the south. Okay. Hail. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. There's no, like, mini-map anymore. Okay, so we're looking for mountain cougars, and at some point I should also take care of a humble task here, which is southeast, a water well. Can I see that anywhere from here? Don't seem like I can. Oh well. We'll find it. Current WoW has a whole thing where it just points you where you need to be, and in a way, I kind of appreciate that this one doesn't have that. It tells you where you need to go and then leaves you to figure it out. But also, obviously, not convenient and definitely not efficient if they just tell you, oh yeah, it's southeast, and then you're left wandering southeast until you happen upon the correct landmark. Ah, but there we go. There's the character we're looking for. How may I aid Travel all this way just to help an old woman. Yes, yes, may I did. What do you have for me? You look like an eager druid. Let's put some of that youthful vitality to the test. Take a water pitcher from the well and bring it to her son. Walk with the earth. Okay. Grab this. Boy, that's taking a while. We got the water pitcher. Should probably take care of... Since this isn't a timed mission or anything, I should probably take care of... Oh, shift click does that. Okay, I didn't even bother to read that tooltip, and I should have. So we've got to find mountain cougars. Ten of them. A little bit closer would probably be nice, yeah. At least the birds are friendly, in which case, why did I have to kill them? I'm a druid. I don't think killing friendly nature is the druidic way. Okay, there's a mountain cougar. They're also not hostile. Why am I fighting these? I don't want to fight Kitty. Here 
we go. That boosts my armor, so it's going to take me longer to get killed by, I can't stress this enough, cougars that won't attack me unless I attack them first. I'm just going to melee attack this one to death for a bit so that my skill in staves increases because I need to level my skill in using a staff. They are just defending themselves, and I'm horrible. Staves up to eight. What's the cap for it right now? Ten. All right. Yeah, you'd think, but they don't seem to have any qualms about stuff like that. This game doesn't really address, uh, hey, aren't we also kind of cows? Why am I eating a steak? I remember in, like, the olden days, the far-off bygone year of 2007, the World of Warcraft official site had a comic section, and one of them was just, like, a Torin sitting next to a gnome at a lunch table and staring at the gnome eating a burger. And that was the whole joke. That was just it. Some really highbrow stuff coming out of the early WoW community. Really makes you think. Please, just one scrap of... Wow, I didn't even get a pelt off that one. Cool. Sub 100% drop race. Let's go. That's just going to get worse as we get further into the game. Where was I? Uh, but I mean, I need to stress again... There's steaks in this game that you can just eat as a tauren, and nobody questions this. It's just fine. Please, just one point. One more point in staves. Sta staves? Vegan steaks. You're suggesting the steaks that are dropping off of animals are naturally vegan, Robin. Do I have that right? Maybe they just brought a snack with them? Really? You think? Oh, my skill and save did actually go up to 10, so I guess... I guess the question now is do I just accept that or do I do something stupid and try and go in unarmed for a bit? Yeah, clearly the problem here is me. I'm stealing the vegan steaks off these poor defenseless cats. I'm beating them to death with my bare hands and stealing their vegan steaks. What narrative have we formed from this? At least my skill in unarmed is going up moderately quickly, I say, and then it stops at five. I probably shouldn't be raising unarmed as a druid. There's no reason for me to be doing this. I'm just beating a mountain lion to death with my bare hands. Get out. <laughs> I made it to level three. All right. Yeah. 
My skill on unarmed has gone up to eight. Now it's nine. I'm the most powerful melee using druid of all time. Why is there a resist thing? Why is that something that enemies can do in this game? They don't do that in modern WoW. Is that like a nature resistance thing, I wonder? Do they just have natural, natural nature resist? Hi, I'm not good with words. Innate, there we go, there's a good word for it. Innate nature resistance baked into these. Cause I'm doing nature damage and they're just getting resists sometimes. Why can I, oh wait, I already have 10 pelts. Wow, I was not paying attention to that. All right, well, that's good. We can go back now. For anyone curious, normally this game does have music. I specifically turn it off for music sharing purposes. If you want, I could turn it back on, because this is boring. <laughs> Five minutes World of Warcraft footstep noises ASMR. Are we having fun yet? All right. Well met. Oh, there's another quest I can accept now. Cool. All right. Ten pelts for the tribe. Other bracers. Cool. Oh, wow. Two songs. Nice. Let's hope they both play properly. And a third song. Okay, Battle Boars, Bramble Blade Ravine. Bramble Blade Ravine? Really? That's the name? Alright. Kill Battle Boars, bring back eight snouts and eight Ooh. flanks. Easy enough. I love to murder frigging boars just minding their own business in the southeast corner of the map. What brings you here? A torn of carved a home out of this land, but not blah, blah, blah. Chief Sharp Tusk, Thorn Mantle. Made our lives difficult. Continued war against us, I guess. Is that what's happening here? You see how much walking there is between us and Bramble Blade Ravine? How are we in the middle of a war with them? Hey. Hi. How's things? How's your day going? Here's a water pitcher. Carry the pitcher back. Your willingness to help others, etc. Thank you, yes. Rights of the Earth Mother. Your willingness to perform a humble task for the Torn of Narash and your eagerness to learn our noble traits. I believe one day you will be her heralded in Thunderbluff as a druid of greatness. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, right of Strength. Seer Grey Tongue, who lives in the hills directly what south. Okay, so we've got to go back to the south. Love that. Cool, that part. Okay, do you have anything for me to learn? Level four, level four, okay. So we have a character to the south that we need to attend to, and we also have a long, long walk to the east. Let's start with south, because there's less south to travel than east. that? No, I guess not. Alright. Thought maybe I was looking at Mount Hajal. I'm not very, very good with uh, directions. Oh, music's quiet. Alright. There we go. Okay. So, south. There's a guy in a hut to the south. 
tucked away in the hills to the south. That looks like a hut to the south to me. Little fun fact out of nowhere, in the World of Warcraft beta, Torin used to have an ability called Planes Running, I believe, which was their equivalent to a mount. Uh, it was considerably more unwieldy to use compared to everyone else's mount because you had to just run for a bit for it to kick in. Everyone else could just summon their mounts, but Torin had to get a running start, and I think if anything hit them, it knocked them out of it immediately instead of just having a chance to dismount. on the rights of the Earth Mother is no small task. I'll be the judge of that. Rights of the Earth Mother. Bristlebacks, Brambleblade Ravine. Okay. Alright. Uh, kill Bristlebacks and bring their belts back to this guy. So I guess we're just going to walk to Bramble Blade Ravine real quick. Okay, let me just stop there for a moment. That was weird. Pause music. Action cam. Five hundred miles. <laughs> All right, back to the music. Look, we can see it in the distance. Why are they making me run so far? Why is this how this is? Uh, they might. But then again, a few songs I've played have apparently already been copyright issues. I wish I could get a bicycle. That'd be cool. I don't think they've invented those yet. I mean, that'd be sometime after Cataclysm, I think. Oh, we've got an aggressive pig. It's not on fire, it's just really, really orange. I don't know how to do fire, that's a mage thing. Too soon. It looks a little like it's glowing, but I promise you that's just bad particle effects. Which, like... Oh. I just ran right into this guy. Hello. Have you heard the word of the Earth Mother today?
I did just kind of take a guy's pants. But it's alright, he doesn't need them. He died because I spread the word of the Earth Mother too hard. I hit him with nature. And also a stick. The stick is important. You know, it's only just now occurring to me these guys are very short compared to the... <laughs> compared to the quill bore I'm used to. This guy's just very small. I feel like that's because I'm playing a Tauren, but... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> just a little dude, yeah. <laughs> He's just a little guy. <laughs> druid school like okay your first lesson as a druid will be to cast wrath like 20 times once you've figured that out and you realize you can't do that forever your next lesson is to beat the training dummy to death with your staff this is how druids do it That robe is an upgrade. I hate that. I hate that that robe's an upgrade because that's just great quality. That's normally we call that vendor trash. Okay, I've reached level four. Man, spirit. What does spirit even do as a stat again? Increases health and mana regen rates. That is wild. You never had to deal with that in Modern WoW. They got rid of Spirit just because it was a dump stat. You'd get Spirit on a piece of gear and you'd be like, oh, great. Oh yeah, I should have sold before we left. Oops. What, just a dump stat that you're not at all enthused about? <laughs> it's wild to me that every stat in this game has a hypothetical use for everyone. Ran randomly connected stats, that's fair. That would be frustrating. It certainly is here. Like, like look at look at intellect real quick. Let's just read the tooltip for intellect. Increases mana points and chance to score a critical hit with spells. Oh, okay, so it's for, you know, specifically magic, right? And then you read further, it says increases the rate at which weapon skills improve, and it's like, oh no, maybe as a warrior I'd want intellect a little bit if I'm trying to raise a new weapon. Stamina increases hit points, that's straightforward. Agility increases attack power with ranged weapons. Improves chance to score a critical hit with all weapons. Increases armor and chance to... Increases armor? Agility increases armor. What? Yeah, you'd think armor would decrease agility. <laughs> Please, just kill the man. Thank you.
turn this music up. I like the sound of this. <laughs> to be completely fair to this game, it did come out before anyone knew how an MMO was supposed to play. So this was like one of the trailblazers that got so wildly, uncontrollably successful that every other MMO that's come after has kind of patterned itself off of WoW. Somehow, this game did that well. Despite the fact that currently, I can cast Wrath a whopping four times before I run out of mana and have to beat something to death with a piece of wood. Just like a stick that I started out with. Final Fantasy XIV, I think, did a really good job in that regard. It, it builds off of WoW in ways that make a lot of sense. And it's a lot more convenient than WoW is at the same time. Like, they kept all the things I actually liked about WoW and got rid of basically everything I don't. I honestly don't care about homogenization. Like, just, just to be completely blunt on that, I really don't care. Oh, you're talking about 1.0 Final Fantasy XIV. Alright, that makes more sense. What the heck is this? Uh, Pikachu, is this actually a song that I can enjoy, or is this a video that I'm supposed to... Oh, yeah, let's let's just play it. There's a video, but I'm not going to show it on stream. Total dissonance, if ever I've heard it. But why not? I don't have any boots at all. Oh, no. Oh, let me fix that. Um... It's... Sentient pigs using feral pigs as weapons basically is just like if we were to train monkeys as combatants. <laughs> if a human had an attack monkey. Exactly, Cole. It's exactly like that. I hate the phrase attack monkey. Thank you. Yes. I guess so. Uh, I'm not going to pick that up. He's an attack monkey with a rogue build. Abu Spect Rogue. <laughs> I really should have sold before I left. This is... I'm leaving so much potential money behind. This game does not let you get money easily. That's one thing I remember from Classic WoW, is that you really have to build up your money. In modern WoW, you earn, like, two gold for going and cleaning out some dude's cat's litter box. But in this game, gold actually matters. Like, if you have a piece of gold, you've got decent wealth. I could go back and sell stuff, but look at how far away that is. That's like all the way west. I'm too far in. If I go back, I'm turning the music off, and we're just going to have to listen to 10 minutes of WoW footstep noises. <laughs> And that's going to be on you, because I'm making that on you. 
I've already collected all the belts. I don't need to be killing more of these guys. I guess I just really hate Quillbore. Hit this pigs. Where the heck is this cheap sharp tusk? Cheap, cheap? Hello? Chief sharp tusk guy. Ravine to the east in their makeshift village. Okay. Probably in the HUD. He's probably going to be in the big HUD with the sign on it that might as well say Chief Sharp Tusk lives here. <laughs> Adventurers welcome. <laughs> glad that running out of mana isn't a death sentence for me. Yet. It might be in the future. I don't know. I never played a mage class or, you know, magic in general class, not mage class in World of Warcraft Classic, so... Okay. Out of room for that. Wow! I can only carry five ruined pelts? Those things could stack up to like 20 in modern WoW. They really... Inventory management was a big part of vanilla WoW, I guess. Okay, come on. There's the chief. I need to get through here. Which means I need to kill this. Without being detected by anything else en route. Oh boy, here we go. Now we have trouble. I uh, might have skipped. I can't think of many games that let you do that. I would like to see more of that, though. <clears throat> it's probably going to be worth more than a cloth piece. Arc, huh? As in, like, Survival Evolved Arc sort of deal? The game that has a sequel, even though it's still not freaking left uh, open beta? Okay, if I attack you, does it aggro the chieftain? Let's hope no. Now I just have to wait. There we go. Take a quick drink.
drink. You resisted that. That's cool. That's a neat feature. Copper, this guy is respawning. Okay, all right. I definitely need to get out of here. Stuff's starting to spawn back in behind me. This is going to be a whole thing. Come on, what can I get rid of? I guess that. Oh boy. All right. Okay, this isn't great. Please, game, I'm begging you. Maybe a bad cast. I should be alright if I can build up enough mana to heal. There we go. i just beat this guy to death. Please. Play it safe, heal. This game could use pandas, but they're never going to put pandas into World of Warcraft. I mean, can you imagine? It'd be too weird. It'd be totally out of place. The only time they've ever mentioned pandas in this in the entire series was in Warcraft 3, which, like... I don't know. I think we're a long way off from dealing with any Warcraft 3 stuff. Right now, I'm kind of just a cow. And I'm fighting pigs. Pleasantly surprised that this guy that was approaching behind me did not decide to ruin my day. Come on. Come on. Gives me seven out of eight snouts and six out of eight flanks. I just need to kill, hopefully, just two more battle boars, and then I can be out of here. Of course, that depends on me getting out of here first. So I guess let's start with that. I could probably just retreat to closer to the exit at this point, because I think there are some battle boars just wandering around the outside. Is this the right way? I don't recognize that. That's fun. That's always fun. It's like, where am I going? Ninja run up the wall. Yeah, let me get right to that right now. There are actually some, like, pretty funky collision detection deals in this game. There's folks that have gotten out of bounds by just hopping up walls in really, really, really precise locations. So, let's see. That's definitely not the right way. I think I was headed... Th I think I was coming from this way, actually, so... Start with that. Ten hours, wow, footstep, ASMR. What is over here? Seems like it could be closer to the out. All right, sure. <laughs> oh, 
Those are not better than what I have right now. And they're cloth, so I think I'm just gonna keep the junk that I have now and sell that. Clobber him. Clobber him more. Thank you. Getting a lot of music requests all of a sudden. All right. Works for me. deal with the last couple of battle boars. I'm taking this angle for the fight because Ace mentioned a while back that it looked a little bit like their tails had flames on them, and I'm just showing that that's not the case. It's just low quality textures. Can't stop it from that. Okay, now we begin our run all the way back. For emphasis, let's just turn that off for a second. Really immerse ourselves in the game. Oh yeah, it doesn't let you request more than one song in a row. You have to get someone else to request a song before you can request another one. Oh, the Rocky theme is definitely, one, that's definitely copyrighted. Two, that's very immersion-breaking. I can't believe you'd ask that. Anyway, back to Super Smash Bros. Melee. That totem is loaded in before the building. It's actually, yeah, there we go. YouTube, when was YouTube a thing? Hold on. Like, when did they make that? 2005. This game predates YouTube, so I guess... I guess you would have had to make up your own songs. Because YouTube didn't exist, and that means music wasn't real. You wish to speak? Okay, I got his head. Here you go. Oh, I need to sell stuff before I can finish these. No, you didn't. CDs didn't exist. Good try, though. <laughs> exactly. Can't fool me. Justice has been served because we killed a guy. We did it. We enacted justice. Okay. Stew. We're making stew out of the pigs. Completed your strength test. Here's a bunch of belts. 
Uh, logically speaking, I should go for the staff, but a part of me wants to go for the mace just because I can equip those. <laughs> Nomadic yeast. Yes, exactly. Perfect. Hmm. I should stick with staff. Okay, two more tests. First, seek out the chief Bane Bloodhoof, son of Cairn. Oh, wow. Hey, I come from the future. I have some real bad news about Cairn Bloodhoof. Just, like... Like, do you want to know... Do you know what Magora is? Do you know who Garrosh Hellscream is yet? Eh, nah, don't worry about it. Take this totem. Follow the road out of Camp Narash and travel with haste. Uh, do not stray. All right, before we do what that quest suggests, I'm going to stray real quick. Because I need to learn more druid stuff. Rejuvenation is an overtime heal. Moonfire is another attack. So we'd finally have two attacks. Burns the enemy. I suppose so, yeah. I can learn both. There's nothing stopping me from learning both. Ancestors watch over. And I mean, yeah, it's an important question. Oh, jeez, the Dan thing. I still don't know how to feel about any of that. Okay, take the totem to Bane Bloodhoof in Bloodhoof Village. Follow the road out of Camp Narash. I'm assuming this is the road, because I don't see any other roads around here. I feel like it's got to be fake. I feel like it's a lot of... What I heard was that it was probably a lot of misinformation, but... I don't know. It started on, like, a Game Grumps hate forum, too, didn't it? Oh, the Vinny one is definitely made up. I've... <laughs> I, I can confirm just looking at that one that the Vinny one is not... It's not... words. Uh, there's been some accusations toward Dan, but they come from Rant Grumps, which is, like, 100% devoted to Dan hate. So, not Dan, but, like, Game Grumps hate in general, so... Now, that's not a puppy, and that wasn't a bug you saw, but I'm gonna look for it anyway. This is the most fitting the music in this game, like the music that we're doing for these requests has ever gotten. It's a little prairie dog. <laughs> Polygon count somewhere in the high 20s. Just keep following the road. Our epic journey has finally begun. Kind of. Hail. What do you have? In the middle of your ride of strength, deliver these first to the inn in Bloodhoof. I think we're headed to Bloodhoof, so that's convenient. Goodbye. This almost matches my walking speed, so real good pick. Oh, okay, so now there's prairie wolves. From which I presume prairie dogs evolved. <laughs> Pretty sure that's how that works. Seriously, this is scarily close to my walking uh, BPM. Oh, 
Okay, so these are evolved prairie dogs is what you're telling me. Something about the mental image of a prairie dog evolving into a wolf is highly entertaining. <laughs> Pine cones. Almost certainly. And a swoop. So as I approach this lake, I'm remembering that World of Warcraft has, like, <laughs> one minute to breathe underwater in this, like, this far back, right? Yeah, that's running out much quicker. So I can only be underwater for a minute. Unless I start healing through it. I'm going to do something stupid. Just like hang out in a spot where I can just heal through it. But I can also just get back to the surface really quickly if that stops working out. So I'm just going to chill here. <laughs> Appropriate music. Okay, that shouldn't be coming up. Is that visible? The, uh... Discord notification in the top left, was that visible? Or was that just on my end? Alright, that's fine then. Come on, start drowning. stay under there for a surprisingly long while just because we can heal through the damage. Oh, I've got quests. Peace, friend. Dangers of the Wind Fury. Rule, warrior and teacher, reach an age where you must prepare for your trials. If you wish a test of your strength, start by seeking out the Wind Fury Harpies to the southeast. Okay, kill eight. Go in. Got it. Can I just take from this water barrel? Apparently I can. Alright. Oh, I should equip that. Why don't I have that equipped? How may I aid you? Goodbye. Hi, you're Bane Bloodhoof. Uh, I have some bad news about your father, but it's not going to matter for, let me think here, six years. D do you want to know? Because, like, I could totally just tell you right now and you could probably you might be able to avert it time in this game works kind of weird there's a point where someone just like gets a magic hourglass and breaks off a piece of the space-time continuum and makes a whole new thing out of it and it's considered like one of the worst moments in the game's existence just because of how easy it is to make money and how little effort there is involved you have no idea what I'm saying do you Bane you're just staring at me he, he doesn't know what's going on. I have a totem for you. <laughs> yeah, Bane doesn't actually care about the whole, like, space-time continuum thing I just went on or what I was saying about his dad. 
He, he's just like, do you want a quest? Because I'm here to give you a quest. Uh, yeah, I guess so. South of Bloodhoof and in the Cave to the West. Kill a bunch of them. Get bullets, which I need as a druid for my druid gun. Right of Vision helps guide you toward earning the respect of the elders of Thunder Bluff. Our people have learned that the land are most holy provider. Speak with Zarlman or Zarlman? Hold on, let me. Zarlman. Zarlman? Your name is. There's a guy in this world whose name is Zarlman Two Moons. Truly, this is video games. Hi, Zarlman Two Moons. I love your name. You're the only important person in this game now. What do you have for me? Well stones found around the water wells in Mulgore. Amber corn would fall beneath the mighty trees in our land. Collect two well stones and two amber corn and bring them back to Zarlman Two Moons. Anything for you. And there's this guy over here, more rain caller. A strider named Mazranash. Demonic red eyes, razor sharp talons, venomous bite. Uh, yeah, that's a drum. I need a wolf heart, a cougar femur, a plane strider scale. They have scales? And a swoop gizzard. Alright. We shall meet again. I can't hit the drum. I wish I could. Anyone got anything for me? Leather armor merchant, what do you have? That's really, really good pants. I don't think I'm particularly in need of any of these. They'd just be, you know, decent upgrades for weapon, or no, not weapon. I don't know, words are hard when I'm playing video games. Maybe y'all have noticed. Half the comedy on this stream comes from my audience, which, like, I appreciate immensely. Hello, Innkeeper Koth. Kauth? I'm gonna assume Koth and oh. not Kauth. I really need your name to not be Kauth. Here's some furs. I'll take the water, I guess. Be careful. Please tell me your name isn't Kauth. Oh, I've been expecting you. So now once per hour we can hearthstone back to that inn. Hello, Mole Thunderhorn. We have Goblins and their servants have tainted our sacred water wells. Hey, speaking of goblins, do you want to know what happens with, with like, the horde in... Let me just ballpark it here. Six years? Do you want to know what happens in six years? Because I have some news for you about goblins. Cleansing Totem. Prairie Wolves. Adult Plain Striders. Southwest. Okay. No, it's not that Hearthstone. I know you're saying that as a joke, but I need to be very clear that it's not that Hearthstone, because in Warlords of Draenor, they did actually start putting in <laughs> Hearthstone, the trading card game, promotional items. Do I have to kill a wolf for... Yeah, I have to kill a wolf for a heart. All right, so bop you with that. 
That. Bam. 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 Now I'm out of mana. Cool, just miss. Okay, now that was me. I need a heart. That sounds weird taken out of context. I need a heart. I lost mine in the war. Okay, hit this bird. And hit this bird. And hit this bird. And hit this bird. And then hit that bird. And now it's down to half health. And now it just kind of becomes a race, I guess. The bird parried my staff. That's fine. Uh, I'm getting cremated in real time. Oh, you know what would probably help is if I put Mark of the Wild back on. Yeah, you better run. Come back here. I'm not done with you yet. Did you have anything on you? I don't think I had anything on it. You got Siva Gunner, though. Let's... You know what? Siva Gunner the crowd. Why not? Throw it in. Love orange cubes. Love to eat orange cubes. I've tricked myself into thinking this one is an apple. Uh, that's definitely not right. 15 hours? Maybe I do need the armor. Maybe I need to go and get some better armor than what I've got right now. Because these birds are scary business. Do the birds not have anything on them? That's the second time that I've looted one and just nothing has happened. I'm going to go get some, like... Find an armor upgrade, anything. We're coming up on 3.30 here, so real quick, because I could go either way at this point. We good with this game, or do we want me to change to a different one? We've got one vote for next game. Got one vote for fine with whatever. Uh, I have just what do you have for me? Uh, 46 versus four is such a massive difference. I don't have the money for that. Uh, now I'm committed to that, so I need to go and get more money. The only way to do that is kill more stuff, finish more quests, you know. The usual. Any other votes? Uh, same game, different game? Because we've still got an hour and a half left, and I'm kind of surprised about that. It feels like I've been playing longer than I have. Usually a bad sign. Please, dog, your heart.
I mean, enjoying this versus not enjoying this is a very difficult question to ask because I'm just kind of... I'm just here, you know? I'm existing. I'm being perceived. What does any of that mean? I guess it means, just generally speaking, I'm here until 5, so like... I guess I'm not enjoying it. It's chill, though. It's more chill than my usual. I don't feel like I'm obliged to get through the game particularly quickly. Which is good, because the game's doing everything in its power to make sure I can't. I'm not gonna... I mean, someday I'm gonna play Dark Souls on stream. No guarantee that I'll beat it, but I'm gonna try. And before I get to three, I need to do Scholar of the First Sin, so that's... Oof. Uh, the only Tetris I'd want to play on stream is restricted to folks with Nintendo Online accounts, I believe. Please, the dog is killing me. <laughs> Game. <laughs> Please! I almost bled out <laughs> to a random prairie wolf. Almost. Or at least came much closer than I would have liked. Your turn. Because I don't learn from my mistakes, I just commit them 20,000 times. Did not go into this fight with full mana. Subspace Emissary is a bit much to ask of me considering the Wii is upstairs and I don't think it has an HDMI port. I... Ah... Uh, I have Crash 1 through 3 remastered but they're all on the PS4 upstairs. Spyro, same deal, it's on the PS4. I have a couple of games in mind that I'd play if I wasn't playing this. Which, it's 3.30, so I'm feeling maybe I should stop and move on to something else. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to call it here, at least for this game. And we can move on to a different one. Uh, unfortunately, that is going to be the end of the media sharing segment. So, as much as I enjoyed that, I'm going to turn the media sharing option off. Uh, let me just sell real quick. Hail. Hail. We shall meet again. Uh, maybe. Maybe in another life. All right, so that was World of Warcraft Classic. Just a little sneak preview of it for my sake. Uh, did I like going back to it? Eh. I mean, kind of. It's nice to see how the game has evolved over time from that into something that's actually playable. Even if enjoyable is still a bit much to ask for. I might play it more on my own time. If I do, it's probably going to be recreating my undead character and playing that guy instead, but, you know... Uh, that was World of Warcraft Classic. Hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, give me a little bit to move on to the next game. Get up, stretch a little bit. You know, the usual.
prepare for the next one, so on and so forth. And that's the end of this recording. So for the folks watching the recording, thanks for watching. I should probably start signing out on like the first halves of these. I don't know. Thanks for watching this one. Uh, tune in to the next one if you want. I don't know. I need to be a little more enthusiastic about it. I'll let that be an issue later.